A grieving mother speaks out tonight looking for justice after her son was murdered in the early morning hours on the 4th of July. Eyewitness News reporter Kyle Harvey met with her today to talk about the young man our community lost. Kyle. Well, Dave Rochelle, a tundra of and smiled, laughed, and cried as we looked over old photos of her son spread out over the kitchen table. She was all too eager to talk about her only son. Out of all my kids, my kids the one that hug on me and kiss on me every day. Michael Dupree, or Mikey as you heard him call him, was out celebrating with his girlfriend of three years, uh, Alizé Weber. It was her 21st birthday and the two went to the Firehouse restaurant where his mother believes there was some sort of argument between her son and another man. Later at about 2 o'clock in the morning, the couple was sitting in their car at a marijuana dispensary on South Union when someone shot them both. Mikey was killed and Alizé is now on life support. His mother is saddened by what she perceives to be a bit of a callous attitude towards crime that occurs on South Union. She says despite her son's criminal record and the site of the shooting, he was a good kid who was not in a gang. He graduated Golden Valley High School in 2014 with good grades and was attending Bakersfield College, eagerly pursuing a career in the oil fields like his grandfather. He was an avid Lakers fan and had a large collection of retro Air Jordan shoes. She said that they have spent their time in prayer as they try to get through the first few days just ahead of the funeral. And I feel that this is the hardest thing that I ever have to do. And it's it got to be done, though. He just don't know what he did to us. Like, he just, he don't even realize it. Detectives are still searching for the people who did this. If you have any information that could help them, please contact the Sheriff's Department. There will also be a vigil tonight for the young couple at 8 o'clock on South Union near Pacheco. Live in studio, Kyle Harvey, Eyewitness News.